Do floor seats at seven, the seventeen concert. No. Oh, okay. Um, what do I? Okay. Huh? Oh my god, you didn't know? <laughs> I don't that was so that. good. <laughs> it's all over the internet. <laughs> what is? That's mean. That's so mean. <laughs> go in the bubble. Can you go in the bubble, please? How are you feeling? Um, echoey. <laughs> why only? Why did you only schedule me for an hour? Wait, I'm early though, because it's only five. No, why did you schedule me? Put me in your calendar. Raining. And it's raining and I don't have an umbrella. Ooh. And I have to walk really fast because my reservations are in one minute. It's like the second time it's rained this year. And I've never been to this neighborhood before. Can you even see me? 
there. <laughs> But it feels like three years. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Oh, they give you a side of beans? Yeah. Oh, I love it. No matter what, I'm seeing you yes. next year. <laughs> this year, actually. This yeah. year and also next year. Bye, I'll see you soon. I realized that I never really, I never really acknowledged why I was gone for so long in terms of the vlogs. Um, I don't know if I necessarily have like a reason specifically but something I have kind of come to terms with is that I really appreciate my YouTube channel as a form of artistic expression meaning that it's not a form of like content creation even though it literally is I think it's I, I view it more as a way to express myself artistically and as a form of really as a form of art you know maybe it's not it sounds dramatic to some people because like it's just YouTube but for me it just means so much more because I didn't even really realize that until now where it's making something on a schedule that's really really like um short term like weekly for example was really draining me even though I loved it it was just draining because I felt like I had to force myself to be consistent even when I felt like I didn't want to say anything and I think for me art means what whatever you're doing it's art if you do it to evoke a feeling and for me my videos are meant to evoke a feeling right and whatever that feeling is that's meant for the person um, consuming the art but for me I, I want it to be in, inspire emotion right whether that's nostalgia or happiness or joy or sadness you know what I mean or reflection I, I want it to be hi Paola um, I want it to express some type of emotion and when I am giving myself a really tight schedule because YouTube obviously is a is a business right um, it rewards creators who are consistent, understandably. But for me, it just felt, it felt really inauthentic to constantly be um, <clears throat> holding myself to that. And because of that, I felt drained. And then I took a long break. So my new approach is that I will make something, something meaning a video, in order to say something right and like I'm really gonna hold myself to that because I want to be consistent you know maybe not weekly um, monthly definitely I want to give myself that frame because it is unrealistic day whenever you know inspiration strikes I still want to maintain a relationship with you guys but I want to be able to also feel inspired to say something my other video Thank you guys so much, by the way, for all the um, positive feedback. It was special to me because it was saying something. And I want all my videos going forward to kind of feel that way. Not saying my videos in the past didn't because they definitely did. But I don't want to force myself. And that's what it meant when I said in the other video, inconsistently consistent. Because that's how it feels to me. Anyway. Um, I'm not used to talking so much on camera, so I'm feeling weird. So hopefully that made sense. And you're probably going to see this after the new year, so I hope you had a great start to the new year. And um, yeah, I just, I 
hope that we have a better year. Yeah, okay, that was a lot of talking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive now. You asked two very important questions and I need you to repeat them again and I also need everyone who's watching to please answer below in the comments. No, so my first question is, when is the last time you actually saw someone like wearing a cast for when they broke their arm or their leg because I can't remember have you literally seen that like a neon green or a neon pink cast yeah with signatures all with over signatures, it that was everything. like that was like the it girl move yeah oh my god such the it girl I always move. wanted to break something just oh my god, I'm same. admitting that yeah no same. I always wanted that but I literally haven't seen that since like maybe no. five ten years ago same. and then I asked them all I was like when's the last time you saw someone with a cast she's like <laughs> literally no Wait. I can't remember and then I also said this is maybe just another like middle school high school memory it's like when did the era of like just like everyone throwing, throwing up, up out of nowhere seriously and just and being like i'm throwing i'm going to the oh i know in up. class like yeah someone's always like projectile vomiting oh and like God. running out of the what what school did you go to <laughs> i thought you meant people just yeah. telling you like no. oh my god i threw up there was always someone that would like throw up in class, in class? <laughs> what <laughs> that never happened to you well what would the equivalent of me now It'd be like in a coffee shop, so <laughs> maybe at work or something. But I did have a really like no, no, no. I like I always remember that. it being embarrassing for the guy, and everyone was like, "Don't look," no. and then they'd be like, "It's <gasps> oh my god, worst no, fear. no, that's horrible." But I did. We'll do that stuff. But it was really, really fun. good. Is it good? It's so good. Really, I love it. Pass the test. What did you get? Same as you got, mm. but hot. Just hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> One of my biggest goals for this year is to savor the little moments with those that I love. We don't have an umbrella though. Okay, we have Jack. Do you have a hoodie? No, I don't have anything. Looks like you're staying in the car, Bubba. No. Oh, what am I gonna do? Oh, it's raining so hard now. No. The weather did not say it was gonna rain. Okay. Let's just stay in Call the car. Call your local meteorologist. And complain. Yeah. I don't know what you, what, what you want us to do. Ethan is obsessed with coffee bean. I love it. Get the coffee butter latte. Oh, and what do you have on there? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, not gonna never catch me slipping. <laughs> I brought my own cup sleeve. If you know, you know. I went to a cup sleeve event. If you know. Oh you know. god, she admits it. Okay, lip can. Wait, wait, wait. First, you have to choose what I do. I want to do. No, no, no. You have. To, oh my god, you have to do this one. Why? What's the difference? It's one. These, these are the prices. But is it the same gas? No. This is like this is the regular one. These are like the extra ones. I picked this one. Yeah. Then lift the, lift the handle. Uh huh. Lift it. Ha lift it hard. Uh, I don't like this. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's not coming. See? Ethan, you go like this. Okay, now it's on. Oh my god. Okay, not a shoot. Come on. You put it in here. It's okay, it talks to you sometimes. All right. Is it going? What no, do I do? you put it in and then you put it all the way in. Is and it then, in? yep, and then? Can you feel it coming in? Out? And then, and then you see it there. <laughs> this is the last time I'm doing this. This is laborious. <sighs> That's what you get for living in New York and never owning a vehicle or driving Happy a car. birthday! I'm putting it in yeah. Gallons on the bottom. <laughs> what? Yeah. Ah, come on, stop. That? It's full. <laughs> no. Okay, now we're good. Okay, put it back. What the heck? And you have just put gas into a car for the first time. I've never did that again. How do you feel? Honestly, that was really scary, you know. What part was scary about it? You know, it like stopped. I feel like I had to like watch what was going on. I had to do two 
things at once. Yeah. Honestly, I know. Like, it's my 16th birthday, and I just feel like you're not 16. You're I almost am. 30 years old. I'm 16. <laughs> you're not 16. That's a lie. I just got my license. 16 years old. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna be driving soon. Get in the car, please. Back seat. <laughs> okay. So and I wanted to share a few of my. I don't really know what to call this. Books, habit changes, and just kind of like mindset and goals for the new year. Um, this year is, you know, just starting. It's January. And at the end of last year, I decided that I really wanted to just have a completely different type of year. Positive year, just really focus on my mindset, habits, and start small. Um, and one book that I read that completely, completely changed the way I think about habits and mindset is Atomic Habit. I'll leave a link below if you would like to get it. This book completely shifted the way I think about habits. The book is so digestible. So if you're one of those people who doesn't really like self-help books because they're just too dense or just kind of inaccessible, this is completely different. It's so, so, um, you know, readable, like it, and, and so easy to apply to your life. It essentially has the general idea of that we are, we are just our habits. At the end of the day, if you strip everything else away, we are just our habits and it really emphasizes the way to think through that on like a daily basis closely linked to that is the idea of habit tracking and for me personally i just kind of think of like habit tracking aka just tracking what you do every day in terms of your habits as like really elementary school you know it's like wake up at on time check you know it's kind of just like what you used to do when you're just like checking off your day-to-day -day tasks but I just gave it a try and it's been really working. And the way I've been doing it is through a Notion template. So Notion is like this productivity app. I can leave a link below. It's essentially an app that you can download on your like MacBook, I'm pretty sure on like PC too, but on your phone, on your tablet, and essentially there are just a thousand different um, templates you can download so you can do one for like schoolwork uh just general productivity goals but i saw a tiktok that uh, introduced this idea of a 12 week year uh to me and it was essentially the idea of splitting your year into four quarters like a like a corporate calendar you know like a finance calendar where it's like q1 q2 q3 q4 and in each of them you would start with three or four different goals for the entire year so that could be like your big goal like a finance goal a career goal a personal goal you know whatever and then you would break it up into smaller goals in each quarter and then you would break that up into smaller even still goals for each month and each day even and then it gives you a habit tracker so you can put in the habits like what time you want to wake up i want to read so i have all those and i just check them off and it's been so great i have loved it so i'm gonna leave that template below and also the tiktok of um the girl talking about it because it was so helpful and honestly like it just feels really empowering to know that you can just change your habits small little habits and that will just change your life. So I'm gonna leave the link below. If you have a Kindle, you can read on your Kindle. Um, I'm gonna leave the link on the Amazon um, uh, page below. And yeah, please tell me what other like goals slash productivity slash habits that you know you're gonna implement this year and like how you're doing it. Um, and also what you're reading too, because I would like to know. Yeah, living room is known um, to be the grungiest coffee literally, shop in San Diego. Literally, the oldest furniture, the worst literally. drinks. Exhibit A. But it's extremely homey and yes. warm, and everyone here is so kind and I makes know. you feel welcomed, and it's very nostalgic. For... I think I think you have an, uh, uh, some type of stake in this in the business. Yeah, I don't, and I don't want any. To be honest, I just love Things my little corner. I know this I little corner. I have so I feel like I have my eyes on outside All activity that's taking place it's so beautiful yeah and i love it when i have great company too now she meets me <laughs>